Hello my friends, Stark here, and the transmission and clutch replacement of my beloved Ford Cargo has turned into quite the saga. I'm installing a brand new clutch and I've had the transmission rebuilt. This is our workshop built clutch jack. I don't know whether you have ever changed the clutch on a larger truck but they can quickly become very heavy the clutch on the cargo weighs about 150 pounds and while most of us can bench press 150 200 pounds or so the difference is that brute force bench press is one thing but holding up a clutch ensuring that all the components remain in alignment and bolting it together, that's not an easy task at 150 to 200 pounds. Hence, the necessity for a clutch jack. So this is just a regular floor jack for which I was fortunate enough to have two jack crowns. Hence I could use one of them as the base for the upright post. And at the top of the post, we've welded an old input shaft upon which to hang the components of the clutch. Real simple design. Let's hang the clutch. Here's the assembled clutch. It's about 150 pounds worth of clutch and more than I want to lift into place. So there was too much of a lean on the upright post. So I've modified with a strap to give some pullback, help to keep it a little more upright. It doesn't have to be perfectly upright, just good enough to get some bolts started. Clutch installation is almost complete. The weight of the clutch is now supported by a few long installation bolts and I've been able to remove the jack from the post so the post is no longer supported next step is to replace the long installation bolts with these shorter hardened steel bolts and those are the full-time bolts for the clutch these long ones are just temporary to locate the clutch perimeter bolts and start drawing it into place <laughs> 